Okay, so let's start with our animatic setup uh, by combining all the elements. Uh, keep in mind that this will be a lot easier to do in 3.0 where the asset browser is available. For now, we're just going to be doing it the classic way, okay? So what I have here is an uh, image from Chris that we'll be kind of trying to set, okay? And then with the elements that we have from uh, all the students. All right, and I'll be moving this kind of back so that we could have space right here. All right, so uh, I'll be saving this file right here. Okay, let's just save this real quick. It's going to simply call it animatic. Okay, then I'll be opening all the other files and we're gonna start with uh, uh, with Irvin right here or uh, let me start with the ground first so that I can uh, so I'm gonna start with a plane okay and then I'm gonna set my camera if you don't know how to do cameras there's a lesson on this one all right that we just uploaded so I'm gonna switch to what the camera is seeing and I lock the camera, so I'm just going to position it like so, so I could see what's happening here. Okay. I'm also going to just uh, real quick go to the environment right here. And then just simply add um, a sky texture just so that we see something in the horizon here. Uh, let's see. All right, just so that, you know, we're seeing a, a background and whatnot, okay? So that's what our camera setup is, at least for now. I'm going to uncheck that so I can't accidentally move it. So on the ground right here, um, let me just add, make that kind of rough. Give it like a, like just a, like a ground color. Okay, something like that. Okay, I'm going to hit tab, right click to subdivide it, and give it some subdivision here, maybe 25. Okay, and what I'll do is turn on my proportional edit right there so that whenever I see uh, I move something with the G, it just kind of follows all that stuff. So I'm going to turn on the camera to do this. So I can see from the camera's kind of point of view. All right, so just kind of subtle imperfection with uh, the selection here. All right, just so that it kind of looks like we, there's like an end of the world kind of deal. All right, I'm going to hit tab, shade smooth, okay, save it. So this will be kind of like our dumping ground, right? So we're trying to get that one. So let's start first with, uh, I'm opening uh, Irvin, uh, let's see, open, download, uh, what did we, uh, let me just check real quick, folks. All right, commercial objects. Thanks for being specific there, Irvin. So just. <laughs> All right, so this is a scene right here. Definitely want to grab some of these objects here. Uh, just want to kind of uh, not make them kind of too wide on the uh, rotation here. Then so when we bring them in, we can still kind of correct that. So they're single object, or I'm going to make this one a single object. So select all those, and then that one, and then Control J. That becomes a single object. So we're going to call this one um, three base. Okay, that'll work. So pine one. 
because there's different colors already so I'll take that okay so it's this one this one that one and that one okay I'm going to command C or control C to copy them okay then I go back to the previous one again this will be a lot easier once 3.0 is out uh, we have an asset browser so I'm just going to paste it here there they are okay that might be too big for the scene but doesn't matter right so we're just kind of copying that drawing right there right so we can put that aside okay so there's let's take a look uh, let's go to our working camera here so we need to go to the top here and just kind of rotate this so we got one right there okay and then duplicate it we got another one here and then we can just rotate this along the z-axis so it's a little bit different maybe a little bit closer right here and then all the pine trees and whatnot uh, we can do an RZ rotation okay and then um, we need this kind of big but farther back right so let's kind of move those let's take a look in the camera all right there they are so that one is maybe way too big all right so I'm just kind of RZ and turn on my screencast right here okay so having those kind of at the top right there kind of clump like so I'm just gonna duplicate that shift D shift D Shift D. All right, let's take a look on the camera. There you go. So nice little populated area. Okay, so we kind of cover that one. Um, I don't know if we have this the bushes and kind of shrub. Well, we'll get to that. Okay, but for now, this is basically what we're kind of looking at. And if it's kind of busy, I can we can move those around, so on and so forth. Okay the light that we have right here let's also change that to a sun and then of course the sun went nova let's lower that all right just so that we kind of get our shadow let's kind of Turn on what we need to turn on. Uh, go back to the light, maybe 2.5. All right, and save it. Okay, now let me open other files. We have um, the uh, what do you call yours? Imad. Camping? I oh, know, sorry? Yeah. Okay. Do I see it here? Okay, this one right here. Okay, there we go. So let's take a look what we need to borrow from here. I do like this tent. That guy, maybe this one. It's kind of like a yurt, you know? So those two right there, we don't want the background, so I'm just going to command, uh, and I'm going to, is this all one piece? No, not yet. I'm going to make it all one piece, make it easier to transport, right? So, all right, so right there, 
control J. This one is just a single object. All right. Oh, there's there's parts of it. Oh yeah. Let's see what else. Is that it? Okay. Control J. So I got those two. Just gonna do Command C to copy. All right. And then abandon ship. Go back to the animatic. Right here. Okay. And then paste. Control V or Command V. There we are. Okay. It might be too big for uh, what we need, but that's what we're about to check. Okay. So right here, this one first. Let me, let's say, scale that. Okay. Let's go here. And I'm just going to center the uh, origin to the center of the uh, geometry, just so that when I rotate it, it's okay this one for sure so it could be that there's multiple kind of people camping right Uh, let me change the color of this one for now to something kind of bright, like a, maybe like a burlap. Uh, but I don't want it blending on the thing though. Uh, let's see. Okay, just so we can change that later. All right, so what else here? So I'm going to save, okay, and, uh, and we're going to go to our, let's open another one. Uh, fire. All right, awesome. So we just, this is a single object. Okay, Command C to copy it. You can also go to the other one and then just append, file append, all right? Just kind of simplifying things here, that's why. Command V, whoa. And from the top viewport right here. Again, just basing it off the sketch of uh, Chris. I don't know if that's the correct size, but uh, all right. Okay, maybe on this one, uh, the fire red, you can change that to emission. There you go. So it looks like it's kind of on fire. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Just so that kind of Okay. All right. Some sort of kind of glow to it. Save that one. Um, uh, we can also add the tent and the uh, bat hot tub, so it's not an issue. Let's get the. Uh... All right. Let's 
take a look. Ooh, okay, nice. Let's copy that. Paste. Whoa. So let's put the hot tub right here. We just kind of tilt the camera just a bit so we could see a little bit more going down right here. Okay, so we're just kind of adding all the elements. All right. Uh, what else? Some rocks and uh, what about the pretzel? Who brought in the pretzels? Where can I find those? Abu, do you have the pretzel? That was the corn. Oh, that's the chocolate bar, though. Uh, uh, where's the uh, ending card? Okay, so this one right here. We'll take the text for now. Okay, so, but, uh, kind of put those together for now. Uh, well, let's, let's not do that. And then the camera also, so that we can just use that. I'm going to copy it. Okay, right here, we're going to paste. All right, so that's on a totally different scene. So we'll just stick that in there a little bit. Okay, so when we switch to that one, so I'll just do control zero. All right, so this is basically what we're seeing for the kind of ending and you can change that of course. Okay, so I'm gonna press zero here, go back to this camera. Control zero. All right, so let's uh, save this one. What else can we bring in? Um, Sasquatch shading. Which one is this? Oh, man. Nice. So I'm just going to uh, combine everything here, okay? Copy it. Paste. Maybe this guy is a little bit more. Uh, Okay, maybe reveal himself a little bit later on. All right, uh, what else? Um, where are the uh, Abu, your pretzel, the one with the eye? Did, did you share those? Okay. So let me see, let me save this first. Going back to um, chocolate bar. Well, I'll take this one here. Uh, they're the same thing, so I'm going to go just delete that faces set 
origin to uh, not to 3D cursor to geometry. Okay, copy it. Whoa. It's like the monolith. It's like 2001 Space Odyssey. All right, so. Okay, well, it's a character. What am I doing? It's going to be right here. Gonna Just enjoying the fire. Right? Um, let's see. Pretzel with ice. Save this. So while that's downloading, let me uh, camping commercial objects. All right. So this is David's stash right here. All right. There's a lot of stuff here we could use. Oh, I like that. Are they all locked? Did you turn off selectability? Oh, the overlay is off. Okay. Don't want that. There's definitely the rocks. And leave it to David to have some shrooms in the shot. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy those right there. Copy. And let's go to our animatic here. Boom! Oh. Okay, so let's uh, let's kind of get those situated here. Let's get that one right there. Some more. Just kind of add to the mix, you know, so it doesn't. It's not all kind of greenery here. There's some dead stuff. Okay, it's kind of, that's working, all right, so what about the rocks? Okay, let's uh, kind of bring them over here, scale those. Right there, and um, okay, and what else? This rooms. We need like, yeah, we need to put like dead logs and whatnot. So, but uh, for now, let's just put those in there. You can always kind of move them. So at least they're in the scene. 
So you definitely need some rotting logs, right? And that one right there. Okay, save. Uh, pretzels with eyes. All right, copy that. All right, so I'm just kind of populating this thing. It's totally up to you when it comes to your commercial how you want these guys in there. Okay, so I think we have enough right here to do the animatic or whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, so you got it all set up. So it's a 15 second animation. All right, so um, I'll, I'll leave that to 250 for now for close to 10 seconds and then uh, we need to set up some camera all right so let's say let's add another camera that's close up to that one so shift a camera and we really need to I'm just gonna leave this at the top of the uh, collection you need to make collections for all the objects so you don't you know end it up uh, uh, getting confused what's happening so in order for a new camera to become the default camera you have to select it and then control zero and it switches all right and then here you need to make sure that you're locked to camera to view so you can control it so now this is for the close-up okay so let's say we want a full body shot of them right there and we probably uh, 50 yeah, probably 50 is fine um the previous camera let me see the previous camera uh let me control zero to that one but not control o uh let's change this to uh let's say a thirty five a little bit wider okay not three hundred fifty four thirty five all right so we can kind of a little bit more of a wide shot and it's revealing how our fake environment here is not holding up
Okay. All right. So we don't need this drawing anymore. All right. So maybe that's our establishing shot. Okay. And then we can jump to uh, this one right here. Close up. Okay. And I don't know what other camera angles you're going to use because that's going to be your call. But when it comes to the timeline, when you want to switch between cameras, I'm going to go to the animation tab right here. Okay. And then we working on our camera. And then we have another camera right here that shows uh, kind of like the ending, right? Uh, you forgot to uh, bring the um, uh, pack your texture, uh, Julian. That's why that thing is purple, right? So let's say that's kind of like our ending stuff, right? And how are we going to kind of do that? Uh, well, maybe we can... Uh, 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 yeah, but uh, we don't really need it for now because that's assuming that's the box. It's just an animatic. So I'll just kind of lift this up right here a little bit so that when we switch to that camera, you know, they'll, it ha it'll have its own kind of environment. Okay. So we have three cameras for now. So let's say on camera one, I have camera one selected, right? And we want that to be the first camera to be shown. So I have it on one right here. So I will do control B. As you can see, it switched to that camera. Okay. And then let's say after, I don't know, 70 seconds, I'm just kind of putting numbers here because you'll have to do this one with your animatic, with your timing, right? So here I would select, let's say camera two. I do control B and it's, well, that's not the correct camera. Undo. It's camera two right here. Control B and it switched to that. So as you can see here, we're first watching that camera and then it switches for you. Okay? So that it's all in the same timeline, but you're kind of directing where which camera. Okay? So let's say let's add another one. Uh shift A um camera right here. Uh control zero to see what that guy's uh looking at. And let me lock the camera. And so let's say we have a we have a shot of the uh, and a medium shot, full body, like a two shot of the. Uh, let's let's go with thirty five on that one. Because you don't want to make a jump cut. Okay. Ooh. Late to the party right there, but still made it. Okay. So that's camera three. Okay. So let's. So camera two right here. And then let's say at the 120, we went with camera zero three, control B. It switched to that one. And then after here, it went back to camera. First camera, control B. Okay. Well, maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Yep, nope, not that. The close up one. All right. And then, well, maybe we have another camera right here. Uh, we're going to switch it to, uh, I'm just going to duplicate this camera. Shift D. Okay, camera four, it's looking almost the same, except we're going to make this one, uh, let's see what it's looking at, like a close-up, so 135 on those two, okay, then right here we'll do control B, and uh, let's take a look at our kind of mock-up camera. All right. Okay. But for your animatic, of course, you have to animate 
your objects here okay so just for the sake of uh, um, demoing all right I'm going to animate the chocolate bar coming into scene all right like it's out of frame right there so all right so I'm gonna go press X right here keyframe that one then before it could reach that one and you're animating kind of just you know no need to put principles of animation or right? it's just an animatic we're just going for the timing okay we switch to this one then it's revealed right there okay and then you know I don't know you're probably going to do some animation on those guys all right so that's basically how you set up your scene then you're ready to animate all the scenes in there okay and I just kind of jumped the gun. I put the uh, camera work in there beforehand. You don't do that. You you know you block your scene first. All right. You basically animate or find the positions where your characters will be at any given time in the timeline, and then you frame them up. Okay. I just kind of did that so that you guys could see the uh, how we can switch cameras and whatnot. All right. So let's uh let's kind of play this. One more time, just kind of real quick. All right. And there's another thing that you can do uh, that I haven't taught you guys is that you can do real-time animation if when you click this. Stay away from it, though. Auto-keying is great, but if you accidentally click that thing and you didn't notice... Everything that you do will be keyframe and you're going to be, you're not going to be a happy camper. Okay. So let me just kind of show you how that works. If I go press number one right here, and then I'm going to put my timeline at the beginning. I'm going to hit auto record as soon as I play this though. Okay. I'm going to press G basically to kind of move this guy right here and just kind of animating on its own. I'm going to press record, play this. So see all those ginormous amount of keyframes that it's happening? All in real time. There, I, um, I actually stopped moving now. This is all. <laughs> all right. This will kind of work with animatic because, but those keys, you will pay the price for those. Okay. All right, so okay, I don't know why he's passing, uh, but that's you know that just kind of show you auto key framing. All right, but yeah, try not to do that. I just want to show you it's an option, okay? Because all you're doing now is animating the, your entire commercial, and you're doing the animatic, okay? And how do you do your timing? That's all based on your storyboard. I'm not following any storyboard here because mostly this lesson is how to assemble your animatic and then how to set up your camera once you have your performance. All right, so I'm going to end the demo right here.